Okay, I got my boards in finally. So I'm going to give you a little preview of what they are. So this is uh, my bucket here of my little boards. And here we go. This is my TSOP adapter. And uh, first I'll show you how to program it. Notice it does not have, have any headers, it's just holes. So uh, I made a spring adapter where this just sits on, on the springs here. So and you can see that uh, on my screen, the two red slashes are supposed to be there. So, so when I push, when I push down on it, then it's ready to ready to program. So I'll spare you from the programming details, and I'll just go ahead and get to what I've already done. Now this is my ZIF. It's just a regular high ROM board with a ZIF socket. And this is Tales of Fantasia. Okay. So I'm just going to put this in. Um, I'm push this in right here in my socket. Okay. Turn it on. Okay, so Tales of Fantasia. So, um, so that's all that was. Even though this is my test cartridge, you know, I have like a 16K and 64K SRAM switch. That's all this is. Um, <clears throat> other than that, the cartridge is uh, unmodified. And so that's Tales of Fantasia. Now, here is Star Ocean. Okay. Now, I've got Star Ocean takes three of these ROMs. So if you look here, let's see if I can get this to focus right. Look here, there's three of them that are stacked. Now this three stack can't, it just barely won't fit in the cartridge case. But you can see on the back side, it's, there's, it's unmodified, there's nothing on the back. And um, so all that's on the front is one jumper wire and then the three. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. So I got the three boards that are stacked. So, okay. So I played this earlier, and so I have a. I did a save progress, so you could see that the saves work. So that is Star Ocean, and then as a. So, so here's my adapter, and uh, if I want to just use this as a single game, oops, 
a single game, then I have a, a different video on this uh, already on YouTube. But essentially, you just this just marries to the back of uh, a host cartridge. So I can zoom in here. So you just stick it on the back on the pins of the host cartridge, solder it on, and got yourself a new game. So, that is this baby right here. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Okay, so, up next is um, my cartridges. This is what I also have been waiting for. That's my cart creation project. And this is the um, circuit board that will do about 95% of all Nintendo, Super Nintendo games, excuse me. So, well, here's one with just uh, Mega Man and Bass on it. So I've got the battery, I mounted uh, Mounted sockets on so you could so I could uh, change the games real easy. So so if you buy one of these from me, this is what you will get plus a battery. Uh, it will not come with sockets. It's up to you to put sockets in if, if you want sockets. And um, But it, it will come fully functional, ready for ROMs. And all you have to do... Let's see if I can get this through this here. Right here. That's the back side. Whoops. Okay, right here is where a dip switch could go. It's not necessary because you can just solder those these little jumpers here, those jumper pads, your settings. And the settings are right here. So if you want to do extended high ROM games like Tales of Fantasia, then you would uh, close solder pads one and three, or if you had a dip switch, it would be switch one and three, of course. High ROM is two and three, and then a low ROM game is three and four. So I'm going to make a more extensive video on this, on all the different features it has, and it's actually quite uh, quite detailed, but, uh, but this is just a little preview right now. Thanks for watching.